we're talking about why so many people are unhappy. And, and Lee, we're going to talk about why so many people seem to have hate in their heart. I mean, it, it, it's running rapidly. <laughs> I mean, it really is. You know, the one thing that happy people have in common is they are at peace with themselves and they're at peace with God. Yes. Uh, you know, and then you've got people that are warring within yes. themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's just creating so much hate. Well, I think, like you said, Jackie, being at peace. And I think when we look at our world and we look around us, many times the issue that really we're seeing that's coming out as hate is people have a void of understanding of other people. <laughs> No matter how much technology we have that connects us to the rest of the world, we still will not embrace. But it's isolating us from people yes, too. Yes, but we won't embrace that, you know, because we get caught up and say, well, this is the black race, this is the Indian race. Mm -hmm. It's only one race, You're the human the race, human you know. Race. So when right. we really look and see how we all are just one, then people, when we understand, we all pretty much are just, it, it's going to take all of us to make this world exist. Right. And we don't, um, don't want to cooperate. Yeah. Let's talk about this, Trudy Simmons. What robs our peace? Mm -hmm. It usually is something called sin. Mm -hmm. Sin, S-I-N. Mm -hmm. And sin, is, it may start out as a baby step sin. Right. It could be a little bitty, bitty, bitty sin. Right. You're a Christian. You know, I probably shouldn't have done that, but you got to make a decision. Right. Am I going to do it or am I not going to do right. it? Right. And let's just say, I'm going to do it. Well, that little sin all of a sudden now has grown into a bigger sin. Right. Mm -hmm. And then a bigger sin. It's like telling a lie. Mm -hmm. And then you got to try to get out from that lie. And mm -hmm. now you're living in this humongous, mm -hmm. under this huge weight, weight of, of sin. sin. You're right. not going to be happy. And you think about the garden. What did they do? Exactly. They yeah. went, Perfect they example. went, and they laughing. ran, and they hid. Yeah. They hid. And yeah. so that's what we Talk do. Yes. Yeah. 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 Out of fear. And yeah. fear is another way that's going to rob us because if we're fearful, right. we can't go to the we can't go to the Lord, or we're fearful that someone's going to find out our right. hidden sin. Yes. That's going to make us pretty unhappy. Mm -hmm. right. It's going to make but us fearful and bitter. Too, when you look at why there's so much hate that's existing, when we look even in the Bible, every time there was a situation, whether it was a sibling rivalry or something, it was because someone wanted what someone well, else yes, had. Yes. You know, and a lot of it, when you stem back to it, it's a jealousy mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. something that has been evoked from somebody that wants someone else or someone's compared themselves. Right. You're better than me, so I want to be Start better than you. Canaanite. Yes, right. exactly. Yeah. Oh. Yes. That was all. Hatred really is a byproduct product of jealousy yes, right. it is. It is. and murder is a byproduct mm -hmm. yes. of hatred, hatred and jealousy. I think, you know, we have to trace it. Where is the origin? Where, where did it did it and does it originate from, right? From God is <laughs> love. If God is love, then the direct mm -hmm. antithesis of that is we have a devil, we have Satan. Right. Hatred, I believe, is in the world because we have an arch enemy of God mm -hmm. that yes. is the progenitor of hate and evil. Mm -hmm. It's Satan's job to try to use any and everyone that he can to promulgate that hate. And I think it's up to us as the people of God to stand up and to let the enemy know that love will always right. overpower Bishop, he starts hate. it out with yeah. a desire. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. He starts it out with just a little desire yeah. in your heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then if we don't shut it down right. then, right. Right. he's got his foot in the door to destroy our entire life. Right. Yeah. You know, taking it from the uh, macro level there and down to a little more micro, yes. um, I have a huge following on Facebook. And if I put something out there, people's responses, the, the hate that goes. I know. Yeah. You can just tell it. And, uh, you know, and I get these messages. Jack, I, well, I you follow need to you tell on Facebook. I see a lot of the responses. Jack, you you need to like tell so-and-so that she shouldn't say that. I can't believe you said that about me. Yeah. And it's like, oh my goodness. So that it's ba acceptance is based yes. on agreement yeah. Yeah. at every level of who you are. And that's just absolutely silly. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and very counterproductive. Uh, and you know we haven't learned how to be really civil Coexist. in the, you yeah. know in the social media. <laughs> yeah. That's true. It's, yeah, I think it's a lot easier to um, you know show that hatred or show that that meanness, mean spiritedness when you're hiding behind right. you're social. Yeah, right. You're right. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're anonymous. And they can't you know. really attack you back. That's yeah. right. Yes. They can verbally, but not physically. So yeah. Yeah. 
That's true, too. We, we really, and you can always block them. Yeah, yeah, you can. That's our, that's our defense. <laughs> yes. And we really have become a me, a me first society yeah. where I'm going yeah. first, it's my turn, I'm going to be the first one out on the exit on 85, <laughs> I'm going to be, you get out of my way. <laughs> yeah. And if we would just begin to cultivate an after you, right, after yeah. you society, you go first. Right. There's so much joy in that. Mm -hmm. You know, it helps, it dispels the depression. Well, even that, and Rebecca, when you look at our world, we have people that will do hateful acts in the name of God. Yeah. Oh. You know, even killing people and destroying people True. and, yeah. you know, taking our races and taking, you know, attacks against people, children, innocent people, and saying that they believe they're doing God's will when we know that that's not the will of God, you know, to propagate hate. You know, so we have, when we look at this world and we, we look at where it's deriving, right. Right. yes, right. we have to understand there's an evil presence that's mm -hmm. at work in the land and we have to counter that evil and presence. And he's using people and it says in Ephesians 6.12, I mean, we, we fight against not against flesh and blood, but yes. he will bring us into it, and then we kind of go into it hook, line, and sinker sometimes, and we've got to check our motives and check our well, heart. Well, think about it. Sin, sin separates, it also separates us from ourself. Yes. Right. Think about it. Mm -hmm. When we do something we, we just know we shouldn't have done, and we are so sorry we did it, then it becomes hard for us to live with ourselves. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then that's why we need a savior. Mm -hmm. yes. That's Go why, to him. and we just become consumed yeah. with guilt, and you can't be happy when that's you're. Right. So mm -hmm. it all starts with sin. Yeah. It's peace and sin. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I'm reminded of the text that says, "This joy I have, mm -hmm. the world didn't give it, and right. the world can't, can't take, take it away." away Bishop. And so when I understand that God is the one that gives me my joy, and He gives joy sustainable, and so joy. It's knowing in who you believe, right. not necessarily what you have, because there are people that have right. millions of yeah, dollars exactly right. that it's just aren't happy at all. That's it. Yeah. Stay with us. When we come back, we're going to discuss what the word flattery means. And is, is it a form of hatred? We'll be right back.